Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I'm Hashim Ali Khan. So far, eight problems I have completed on queuing theory. Now, in this video, two more problems, ninth and tenth, I'm going to explain. So, every problem is based on the formula. Hope you are perfect on the formulas after completing eight problems. In every problem, you will come across one or two new points. Remaining all the points are similar. The formulas are dependent on two things that is arrival rate lambda and service rate mu that if you calculate then easily you can substitute the values in the formula and get the answer. So before starting the ninth problem I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which I have given in the link under my description. Take the screenshot of these two problems ninth and tenth then I'll explain. Now, see the ninth problem. Problem number nine. A repairman is to be hired to repair machines that break down following a poison process with an average rate of four per hour. That means the arrival rate lambda is four per hour. The cost of non-productive machine is rupees 90 per hour. 90 or 99. It is uh, rupees not 99, it is only 9 rupees. There is a printing mistake there. Double 9 has come. There is no double 9. It is only 1 9. So cut off that 1 9. So it is the cost of non-productive machine time is 9 rupees per hour. The company has the option of choosing either a fast or a slow repairman. The fast repairman charges 6 rupees per hour and will repair machines at an average rate of 7 per hour and the slow repairman charges 3 per hour but he will repair machines at an average rate of 5 per hour which repairman should be hired this problem is entirely different from the earlier problems the company has to select any one of the repairmen slow repairmen or fast repairmen slow repairmen if we select his charges are 3 rupees per hour but he will repair the machines only 5 per hour. He can repair only 5 machines per hour. Whereas the fast repairman he will charge 6 rupees per hour. But he will uh, I mean, repair the machines at the rate of 7 per hour. Fast repairman. So we have to compare the total cost if we hire the fast repairman. And what is the total cost if we repair the slow repairman. But before that we must know. The two costs are there, total wages and the cost of non-productive idle time. Non-productive idle time means the machine is uh, gone for repairs. So during the time the machine is in repair shop, that means there is no production at all. That is called non-productive time. When the machine has gone for repairing and it is still lying in the repairing shop, not yet repaired. So that is the cost of non-productive idle time that is given 9 rupees per hour. That's all. Now this is the problem. Now for solving this problem we compare the total expected daily cost for both the repairmen. So we find out what is the cost of hiring fast repairmen. And what is the total cost of hiring slow repairmen. So we need the total cost. And this would be equal to total wages plus the cost due to machine breakdown that is non-productive machine hours two costs are there the wages paid to the repairman and secondly what is the cost of non-productive idle time when the machine is not working the machine has gone for repairing that means every hour 9 rupees will be the cost right now here total wages is equal to hourly rate into number of hours it is not given one hour or one day how many hours the workers are working. So we make the assumption one shift is of eight hours per day eight hours. So for fast repairment total wages are six rupees into eight hours per day consists of eight hours assumed as eight hours per day. It is not given in the problem. Huh? It is given six rupees per hour. Fast
cost repairman will charge. So 6 into 8, 48 rupees is the total wages per day. For which repairman? Fast. Similarly for slow repairman, total wages is equal to 3 rupees per hour for 8 hours. So 3 rupees into 8 hours, 24 rupees. So per day wages will be 48 rupees for fast repairman and 24 rupees for slow repairman. But we should not come to the conclusion that uh, the total wages are less for uh, slow repairmen. We should hire slow repairmen. No. Apart from total wages, we have to calculate the cost of non-productive idle time. When the machine is not working, how much cost we are incurring. So cost of non-productive idle time can be calculated by using this formula. The formula is the average number of machines in the system. How many machines are there in the system for repairing into cost of idle time machine hour per machine hour what is the cost of idle time given in the problem 9 rupees per hour that is the cost of non-productive idle time number of hours per day we have already assumed 8 hours so number of hours 8 hours and the cost of idle time of machine per hour 9 rupees given in the problem the only thing is average number of machines in the system that is nothing but ls that is not given average number of units in the whole system ls so what is the formula for ls ls is equal to lambda divided by mu minus lambda lambda divided by mu minus lambda so we need ls for both fast repairment and slow repairment so cost of idle time per machine is 9 rupees per hour given in the problem number of hours per day 8 we have assumed now for fast repairment for fast repairment lambda is the arrival rate arrival rate is same whether fast repairment or slow repairment arrival of machines that is 4 per hour and mu service rate so fast repairment services how many machines per hour that is given in the problem 7 per hour 7 machines will be repaired by fast repairment per hour. So we have lambda, we have mu substitute, ls is equal to lambda divided by mu minus lambda, 4 divided by 7 minus 4, 4 by 3. 4 by 3 is the average number of units in the system, right? Now, the cost of non-productive machinery is ls 4 by 3 into this cost of idle time per machine 9, number of hours per day 8. So 4 into 9 into 8 divided by 3, 96 rupees is the cost of non-productive idle time for fast repairment. Similarly, we have to calculate what is the cost of non-productive idle time for slow worker, slow repairman. For slow repairman, lambda, same, 4 per hour. Mu is different, service time. In one hour, how many machines? He will be served, served. 5 machines. The fast repairman can make the servicing for 7 machines, whereas slow worker, slow repairman can repair only 5 machines per hour. So LS is equal to lambda divided by mu minus lambda, so 4 divided by 5 minus 4, 4. Thus the cost of non-productive idle time is 4 into 9 into 8, 288 rupees is the cost of non-productive idle time for slow repairman. Now we are having the total wages. And also we have the cost of non-productive idle time. So we add up both to get the total cost of hiring fast repayment and the total cost of hiring slow repayment. So the total cost for each of the repayment is as follows. For fast repayment, how much are the wages paid? 48. And how much is the cost of non-productive idle time? 96. 48 plus 96, 144 is the total cost if we hire fast repairman. Similarly, what is the total cost if he, we hire the slow repairman? The wages per day is 24 rupees, very less. But cost of non-productive idle time is 288. So 24 plus 288 comes to 312. Now whichever is less. Fast repairman, the total cost is 144. And slow repairman, the total cost is 314. So which is cheaper? Fast repairman. Obviously, we hire the fast repairman because the total cost is less. Our objective is 
to reduce the total cost 144 that's it this is the end of problem number nine now problem number 10 arrivals of cars at a filling station are considered to be poison variant with an average time of four minutes between one arrival and the next arrival every four minutes one car is arriving at the filling station petrol pump so every four minutes so we can easily calculate the lambda arrival rate see lambda arrival rate. in every four minutes one car arrives in 60 minutes how many so 60 by 4 15 cars per hour this is the arrival rate lambda that's it. next the length of filling petrol is assumed to be distributed exponentially with a mean of 0.05 hour this is a service one car the petrol will be filled by in how much time 0.05 hour this is the service rate but we need how many cars will be served in one hour in one hour so in 0.05 hour one car served whereas in one hour how much because it is given in hours 0.05 hour so one hour how much so one divided by 0.05 into one 20 cars in one hour 20 cars will be served so we have lambda and we have mu 15 is the lambda and 20 is the mu now we can attempt one by one question the first question is average time and arrival spends in the whole system average time a customer or a unit so I means wait in the whole system <clears throat> so average time and arrival spends in the whole system the formula is ws ws formula is 1 divided by mu minus lambda so 1 divided by mu minus lambda 1 divided by 20 minus 15 1 by 5 r or 0 0.2 r if you want in minutes multiply by 60 so 1 by 5 into 60 12 minutes <coughs> first question completed second average time on arrival spends waiting in the queue how much a, a car arriving will stand will wait in the queue wq so average time on arrival spends waiting in the queue wq the formula for wq is mu divided by uh, sorry lambda divided by mu into mu minus lambda so lambda 15 mu 20 20 minus 15 so 15 divided by 20 into 5 15 by 100 r time is measured in terms of r so if you want in minutes multiply with 60 so 15 by 100 into 60 it comes to 9 minutes a car spends totally in the whole system for 15 or uh, 12 minutes whereas a car will spend in the queue for how many minutes 9 minutes right next average length of the system average length length means number of units in the system that is ls so ls we have to find out lambda divided by mu minus lambda 15 divided by 20 minus 15 15 by 5 that is 3 so average length or average number of units in the whole system is 3 next comes average length of the queue that means average number of units in the queue LQ LQ is equal to lambda square divided by mu into mu minus lambda lambda square is 15 15 square divided by 20 into 20 minus 15 so 15 square 225 20 into 20 minus 15 is 5 so 225 by 100 it comes to 2.25 so average length of cars in the queue is 2.25 then fifth last the new arrival rate we have to find out the new arrival rate lambda if the management of petrol pump is determined to install second pump under the condition that the average waiting time with the present time with the present system exceeds 12 minutes if the average waiting time in the queue exceeds 12 minutes then a second pump will be installed so what is the new arrival rate arrival rate means lambda the so new lambda we have to find out right whereas the waiting time in the queue should be 12 minutes or more so new arrival rate lambda is how much 
if the management is determined to install second pump in the average if the average waiting time exceeds 12 minutes that is the question so waiting time in queue we will calculate what is the formula for waiting time in the queue wq the formula for wq is lambda divided by mu into mu minus lambda right for our uh, i mean separation purpose for our understanding we are right on lambda dash because already lambda we have 15 cars that is the old lambda we have to find out the new lambda that's why we are writing lambda dash so wq how many minutes 12 minutes is given but we need the time in r so if you want to convert from minutes to uh, from hours to minutes from hours to minutes divided by 60 so 12 by 60 you will get 0 0.2 hour so we can say 0 0.2 hour or we can say 12 minutes both are same right now instead of 12 minutes we should take 0 0.2 hour because in the formula wq we have to write hours so wq is equal to lambda dash divided by mu into mu minus lambda dash wq 0 0.2 hour is equal to lambda dash we have to find out mu is 20 that service rate is already we know 20 cars per hour so 20 into 20 minus lambda dash now we make a cross multiply first of all you multiply 20 into 20 will be 400 20 into lambda is 20 lambda right now we make a cross multiplication 0 0.2 into 400 minus 20 lambda 0 0.2 into 400 minus 20 lambda is equal to lambda dash into 1 is lambda dash now uh, open the bracket 0 0.2 into 400 you'll get 80 minus 0 0.2 into 20 you'll get 4 lambda dash now keep 80 as it is take this minus 4 lambda dash to the rhs so minus will become plus so 80 is equal to lambda dash plus 4 lambda dash is 5 lambda dash so lambda dash is equal to 80 divided by 5 you'll get 16 so new arrival rate is 16 if the new arrival rate is 16 the petrol pump management will set up the second pump that's it so in this video two problems i have explained that is ninth and tenth inshallah the next problem will continue in the next video